A blessed morning to you out there. Welcome to the Porter's Gate online broadcast. My name is Isaiah Phillips Akintola. We want to bless the Lord for another beautiful, wonderful day heaven has given unto us. Indeed, this is the day of the Lord and we will rejoice and be glad, of course, in him. Today is the 14th day of the of the month of January, right, 2022. We give glory and praise to God for his love, for his mercy for his goodness, for his kindness over our life. Wherever you are this morning, once again, I want to celebrate this day with you. Right yesterday and a few days ago, I've been you know, busy writing and putting some things together. Uh, we just thank God for his love, for his kindness. God has been so faithful. Of course, so many things have happened. A lot can happen under one, you know, one day all right, that can change, of course, the course of life. Uh, we've seen so many uh, uh, revelations in South Africa in, from the political you know landscape so many things are happening that needs to be unpacked however we want to continue amen to pray because it's in the place of prayer that we get our perspective that we get to know that we get to understand amen what is happening around us or else we can easily be overwhelmed by the things amen that are unpacking the days ahead requires amen that we have sight that we have clear in understanding excuse me <clears throat> regarding the directions and the instructions of the spirit so we don't want to amen take anything for granted we want to continue to pray we want to continue to allow amen the lord to guide us to lead us to show us amen the divine direction the divine blueprint amen of our life we want our path amen to continue to flow and you know and flow in that direction that christ has laid for us so this morning once again we're going to be looking at the concept of of prayer and developing the right spiritual intuition amen because we need it in the in the in the days that we live in our prayer like a, like i've been sharing for a while amen must must help us to advance we must move further we must move on amen in our prayer life our prayer must help us to push further into the intentions of god and like i've said before that when we begin to pray all right it, it impacts how we see things it impacts how we you know interact amen with our environment that's the essence that's what, some of the essence of prayer amen i will never stop talking about this because we can't go further in the things of god amen without developing our if you will our prayer environment our prayer culture our prayer, you know, a lifestyle is 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 the is the point and place where the Lord meet with us, and that's why we are told, Amen, to build an altar. In fact, you know, the scripture says, uh, I will meet you in the midst, amen, between the cherubims. That's where I'm going to meet with you, amen. There's a place that God wants to meet. God never meets with us, amen, outside the environment that he has ordained for us. We have to constantly create. Before he, before he ever, uh, you know, created man, he created an environment of meeting. And to me, this is very important, amen. The Lord created an environment of interaction. He created a place where he can meet with man. He called it the place of uh, delight amen yes and that place of course is, is 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 a reflection of heaven in fact that place is known as a paradise <clears throat> excuse me excuse me that place is defined as paradise you know eden means the delight of god is paradise so wherever we meet with god amen uh, that place reveals it shows amen god's heart god's mind but the environment also brings a sense of rest a sense of peace all right one of the things that we have to be you know uh, uh, watching in the days before us amen is is our bar of peace our our sense of you know uh, uh, rest we have to cease from our own themes, cease from our own, our own walks, amen. We have to come into the rest of God. <clears throat> Coming into the rest of God does not mean that, amen, you are not being buffeted, you are not being challenged because you live in a real world, all right? But within that world, we have to develop a world within us. We have to develop an, an, an environment, amen, that we, we can hear God, we can hear God and miss the, the challenges, the quagmires, the trials, the complex situations, I mean, uh, like the, the things that have been going on in South Africa, uh, just for the fact that, you know, uh, one woman who is serving, you know, as a minister made a statement that challenges, amen. Yes, the constitution that challenges the, you know, the judges. I mean, the whole, everybody is going, you know, crazy. But guess what? These are part of the realities and the manifestation that are leading us towards the days of the end. 
the further we go when you read matthew 24 you're going to realize amen that <clears throat> the world that we are pressing to us amen is going to be is going to be captured in chaos it's going to be defined it's been defined in chaos there are all kinds of i was reading i was reading the scripture the last time the bible says be careful that you not be deceived so deception is a powerful amen, instrument that that will be that will be motivating um, all right yes the the environment the environment that we live in deception deception from the world amen of the farmer the from the world of government deception from the world of you know uh, uh, economy deception from even from the church all kinds of deception in the midst of all this yet a people must arise with sanity with sanity a people must live their life, amen, within the context, amen, of this life, amen, looking unto the Lord, amen. Yes, seeking and waiting for his appearance. Is that the kind of life we're building? If it's not, then that's what we, we ought to build. So we have to learn to pray, amen, a prayer that will push us further. It said, tell my people, tell the people to go forward. We have to go forward within, amen, the challenges of our day, within, amen, the false values, the false culture. We have to go forward, amen, within the resistance, within the lack, amen, within the economic uh, 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 crunch, whatever it is that is happening out there. We have to go forward within the coronavirus. We have to go forward, amen, within, amen, the, 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 the perversion, amen, and the destruction and the seeking to destroy, amen, the life of our children, amen, and their future. We have to learn to go forward so going forward begins from the place where we develop amen a strong robust prayer life your prayer life has to be upgraded and that's something we have been looking into for a while our prayer life amen has to go forward thank you so much my dear sister uh, uh, priscilla for joining this morning our prayer life has to go forward amen and that means we have to develop listen to these friends we have to develop an inner reality of amen who we are we have to develop amen a, a, a new sense a deeper sense amen of our spiritual life a spirituality is still vague to a lot of people yes our sense of spirituality is still is still very vague it's still you know it's something that yes we know is there but we're not making use of it we we really do not know it we are not interacting amen in the way that will cause us to really come to the point where we are determined that yes this is what amen i, I this is the life i want to live i want to go on this path i want to remain on this road we have to develop such a life. We have to develop a, a strong, robust spiritual interaction. I, 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 I will sh share with you once again one or two scriptures that we have been looking at, and I believe that this, you know, uh, you know, scripture will allow us to develop, amen, and grow our spirit man. You need to grow your spirit man. You need to grow when you start growing in the spirit and start maturing in the things of the spirit. The way you pray, the way you interact, amen. The way you come communicate the way you see amen would change your priorities would change and i need to say this again and again and again because these are the anchor amen of our advancement of our moving amen of our journey yes when when the ship amen you will look as if it's gonna capsize amen you need to have this anchor of faith the bible called them it is important that we do that, friends. <clears throat> it is important that we understand. All right. Now, uh, let me go back to um, the scripture, Hebrews chapter, <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 12. It says, for you have not come to a mountain, verse 18. You have not come to a mountain that can be touched and that is burning with fire and to darkness and to gloom and to storm. These things are real. But the Bible says, amen, we're not coming into this thing. We're coming into something greater. We're coming into, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a better, a more, you know, spiritual reality. You have not come to a mountain, amen. We're all coming to a mountain. And life on the mountain, of course, is totally different from life in the valley. We've got to know that. We'll speak about, you know, this very soon. I'm going to be doing some teaching on the concept, amen, of living a life in the mountain. All right, I'm going to be doing some teaching on that. So we're going to we're going to be looking into how to live, amen, 
or, or you know within the context of a mountain life in the day where things want to pull us to the valley all right we understand that when we're in the valley we are there for a reason to meet a need but we must not dwell we must not live in the valley all right he said for you have not come so we are coming to a mountain amen we are coming to a mountain in the reason why is because that's the point and place where we can interact with god and we can interact with amen who we are as spiritual people if you're not a, if you're not a mountainous amen, uh, person if you're not a mountainous you know dweller listen to this the 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 the, the, the challenges of life amen will suck you will suck you in like a quicksand so our feet amen must be planted upon christ the rock amen our house amen must be built on the mountain top is that is that the kind of spiritual life we're building is that the kind of spiritual amen uh, uh, lifestyle we are developing or we are being sucked in and being pulled down and being you know captured by all of the things happening around us when we start praying by the Spirit and via the Spirit, understanding will come to us. Direction, instruction will come to us. All of this speaks into a culture that we have to build, friends. Prayer is more than the things that we have reduced it to. When we start to pray, like I said, you begin to understand the ways of God. The will of God becomes very clear to you. And the reason why we don't know the will of God era is because we don't interact with the things of the spirit. We don't interact with the things of the spirit. When we interact with the things of the spirit, the environment of the spirit becomes more spiritual. And listen, it doesn't happen by, well, I want to. No, you have to make our time within amen, your, your busy amen, uh, life, within your domestic life. Yes. You know, when you have to, you know, jostle between three, four amen, uh, 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 family, you know, you have to deal with your children yeah you deal with your wife then you deal with your uncle then you deal with somebody else and then you still have to go to work amen and then you deal with very difficult colleagues all right and then you come back all right and then you deal with all kinds of things you know and then food and then you know all of these things they have a way of sapping our strength yeah the bible says we've got to live within i mean god wants us to live here on earth so how do we manage our life and our time? You see, it depends on how we understand. Like I always say, what is a, what is a priority to you? What comes first to you? Because when you focus on those things without developing the right spiritual base, without developing the right spiritual understanding and the right frame of mind, those things has a way amen, of depleting your spiritual strength, of depleting amen, your mental strength. By the time you are done, you are tired like i always say you finish so time to pray is no longer there you see many of us do not include prayer amen as part of the program of our of our of our life of our day that's why you know i try as much as possible to to wake up early because that's the only time that i have all right that i can spend all right in doing certain things that i need to do which are priority to me all right so if, if you don't begin to prioritize your time to want to come to that mountain, you see, Jesus will wake up in the morning and what he does is he goes to the mountain. You've heard me say that over and over and over again. Yes, he goes to the mountain top. Wow, there he is where he's going to get the blueprint for the day. There he is where he's going to get the answer and the solution. There is where, hallelujah, he's going to receive, amen, yes, the, 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 the order of the things that he must do for the day. But prayer is not just about morning time. We can pray all through the day, all right? But once you have developed that, you know, morning time, if, if you're a morning person, you've developed that morning amen, environment to pray. What's prayer? It is communing with God. It is listening, amen, to the heart of God. It is getting to know what the Father will have you do. It is getting to know the directions and the instructions, amen, of God for your life, amen, for the day as you move on, all right? Yes, you pray or you pray. Of course, prayer always begin with, you know, a, a heart of gratitude. That's what the scripture says. Let us come to God, amen, with a heart of gratitude. Since we know that we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us let us approach him with a heart of gratitude our prayer amen it, it, it begins with a heart of 
a heart of gratitude. You are thankful. Amen. You are appreciative of who he is, of what he's done in your life. You, 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 are, you, you have come to that point of acknowledging that, Father, I mean, that's how I pray. I start with thanksgiving. I'm grateful. Even for the things that I didn't get, the things that I was expecting that I didn't get, I'm grateful, Father, because you know all things. You allowed it, yes, for your own good pleasure. So it is important, amen, that we begin to interact, amen, with the, the environment that will allow us to have stability. That's what, amen, mountain means, to have stability, unshakable. When you build your house on the sand, the things happening around, amen, the, 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 the revelations of, of, of our day, amen, the, the challenges of life, yes, yes, the issues of domestic needs will weigh you down. There's no way those things, you will make bad decisions. You'll find yourself in places that you ought not to be. You'll be, you'll be interacting with things you ought not to be interacting with. So it is important, amen, that you make it a priority. You make it a priority. I want to be a mountain dweller. I want to be a person of prayer. Because the Lord is calling us, amen, to a new position. He wants to reveal something new and fresh. He wants to bring us to a new pedestal in the spirit. He's calling us higher. He's calling us to the place of ascendance. But I cannot come if I'm not willing, if I'm not hearing, if I'm not determined, amen, to want to come to that place. It's not going to happen. So I'm making up my mind. I'm deciding that I want to journey with God. The Bible says, yes, if the brethren who left, all right, I turn back and, you know, I, I decide to go back. They had every opportunity to return. If they were not mindful of what was before them, they had every reason to return, but they were searching and seeking for a city. When the Lord asks us to go forward, these are the contexts that we have to look at, friends. It's a brand new day. All kinds of things are going to be happening that will, that will cause men to want to faint. Yes. The nature of the days before us are days of, you know, Bible call it evil days. Days where all kinds of things are being hashed in the minds of men that are designed to cripple, to stop, to frustrate, to imprison the people of God, to keep them in slavery. Yet the word of the Lord is coming to us. Tell the people to go forward. Freedom has come to us. The bars, amen, of, of the iron gate has been opened. The chains are falling off. Are we going to take our deliverance in the place of prayer? Are we going to go into the realm, amen, of the spirit and start interacting, amen, with God? Don't, don't, don't look at your environment to develop, you know, motivation. You've got to look in, in inside. You've got to look into what God's word, amen, says. You've got to focus on, amen, the word of God. You have to focus on the directions of the spirit. But this, this period in time, a lot of people are already in all kinds of debts. Some are in, you know, in situations that they don't know what to do about it. Yes, because it's January, all right, and it's mid-January. So people are not even thinking about, you know, spiritual thing. Let's pray. No, no, no. Everything right now, their mind is running, all right, a thousand, a thousand miles, you know, per second, all over the place. They are confused. Why? Because we have not learned to build. Amen. The order and the priorities of, of the prayer life, of the things of the spirit. You have not come to a mountain. We are coming, friends, to a mountain. And this mountain is not designed by, you know, how we can feel. You know, yeah, you, you, I can touch it. You know, no, we, we're coming to a, re, a, a real mountain that is spiritual. That's where we're coming. Lord, bring us into this dimension of life. Bring us into this atmospheric order. Plant our feet, O oh God, upon this spiritual experience of a mountain that cannot be touched. Take us beyond what we can touch and feel, what we can see and get satisfied with our eyes. 
open up to us the spiritual life. Help us to see the things of the spirit. Open my eyes of understanding. Illuminate my mind and thought, oh God. Help me to know. Help me, oh God, to feel the reality of these spiritual things that cannot be, yes, interacted to by human natural senses. Bring me, oh God, to a new day where I can live in the dimension of a life that is called a mountain that cannot be touched. May the life of your spirit becomes more real to me than the things around me. May my choices, oh God, be based and be built, oh God, on the things that I hear, on the things that I see via my spiritual eyes, on the things that I know. Yes, through, yes, the, 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 the knowledge of faith bring me to the place where my life, oh God, becomes indeed an expression of a life that has become one with you. This is my prayer for myself this morning. Bring me there. Bring me there. Bring me. Help me to continue to journey to this point, to this place of the mountain that is not captured by fear. Help me, O oh God, to live Man Sinai. Man Sinai is good. It's a place of the law. And the law is a shadow, a substance, yes. Uh, 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 is a law, is a, is a shadow of, of a substance in Christ. So I need the law to know how to value Christ. When Christ comes, I will better appreciate him because I have journeyed through the shadow. So Father, I do not reject or, or refuse the law, but I use the law because the law are uh, the values of your principle the law yes at the life that christ has come to give to me what i cannot accomplish and fulfill in the law christ came yes to fulfill it he is the fulfillment of the law so i thank you this morning oh god that my feet is planted upon the experience of jeremiah of ezekiel yes i thank you oh god that i could interact yes father with people who lived even before the law yes father thank you for the spirit of enoch thank you father for the pathway yes father that 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 that, that that Noah, yes, established. Thank you for the things that Abraham, who did not live under the law, yes, came into. I thank you. I bless your holy name, O God, that the law is basically a schoolmaster, yes, preparing us for something greater. Thank you, Spirit of God, that we have come into a new life, a new testament, a new covenant in you, a covenant that is not established, yes, by, by man, but by your spirit. Thank you for the testament, O God. God, that is written a code of lifestyle written upon the template of my heart that this day father i can rise up because indeed i have a connection to a life before the law a life that journey through the law a life that i've yes come become reality in christ jesus i thank you that this life is the one leading me further into a new day into a future day in christ jesus waiting for his return Lord, i thank you I honor your holy name. That my vision will not go blood. That my vision will not be lost in this confusion, in this destruction, in this distraction. Thank you, Lord, that my eyes will continue to look, fo will, be, will be focused, will continue to look, yes, unto you, Christ, the author and the finisher of my faith. Thank you this morning that my faith is expressed through a life in you. Lord, that my faith is expressed through a life in you. Greater, greater things you said you will do. And when you say you will do, Lord, I take my eyes beyond just a physicality. I position myself to the things, yes, that you're doing. Yes, in the spirit that will eventually manifest. So I thank you this morning once again that I am alive. I am awakening, oh God, to this life, to this life. May I continue to be an example of this truth, oh God, journeying towards the place of your good pleasure, not being distracted, oh God, by anything around me, but focusing my eyes on Christ, the author and the finisher of my faith. Let my faith this morning be more, yes, O oh God, valuable, O oh God, in the journey of life, Spirit of the Lord. May I not be hijacked by something else, by the distractions of men, O oh God. Keep me, O oh God, focused. Keep my mind focused. Keep my thought focused. Keep my thought focused. Keep my desire focused. 
Give me, O oh God, a pleasure that only comes from you. Give me a satisfaction that only comes from you. Be glorified. Take your place. Have your way. Friends, this is how we pray if we really want to touch the things of the Spirit. This is how, amen, we must focus our prayer life. Our prayer life must be directed, amen, must be focused towards that order of life, amen, that is being built daily in, hallelujah, in the crucibles of life. That we know, amen, that our challenges, our suffering, whatever it is that we're going through, are temporal. In fact, the scripture says they are working for us to produce a better life in Jesus. So it said, we have not come to a mountain that can be touched, amen, that is burning with fire and to darkness, to gloom and to storm, or to a trumpet, a blast, or to a voice speaking words, amen, that those who heard it beg that no further words be spoken to them because they could not bear what was commanded they do not have they did not have amen the capacity the spiritual capacity to bear to receive to carry what was spoken we have to journey beyond this point all right that when the lord speaks to us we have amen the right spiritual template we have the right spiritual posture we have the right spiritual mindset amen to carry to bear this word we've got to bear the revelation amen of of god's will and counsel for each interval of our life we have to bear it we have to journey we have to interact in the spirit we have to allow our spirit amen to bear the things god is saying because those things God amen, is saying are the things that will be used amen, to transform us to, to, to empower us and of course you know, to transport us to the next level of God's prophetic counsel for our life these are very important you know, spiritual principles what are we doing amen? we are building amen, a life of the spirit we are building a, a, a capacity within our spirit man amen to understand, to bear, to interact with the things of God, and of course, hallelujah, to advance in the will of God. So, wh whatever we are looking for, whatever we are desiring, amen, as long as it's within the atmosphere of God's, amen, provision for us, we enter into those things. Why? Because everything that we're doing is within the context of the kingdom of God coming. You see, all that I've been talking about are dimensions of life and environment of life within the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, amen, is an environment of the rulership of God, of the government of God, amen, yes, of the will of God, of the counsels of God. So when we pray prayer that are kingdom motivated, that are kingdom motivated, amen, we begin to walk in the full reality of God's provision for our life, uh, amen, yes, and whatever that provision is, amen, it will surely come to pass because, amen, everything within the kingdom, amen, is source. From within, amen, the, 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 the will of God for our life. In other words, when you live in the, in, the, in the atmosphere of the kingdom of God, your prayer will always be to please God. Your prayer, your request, your desire will always be to honor God, to glorify God. Yes, because that's, that's, that's the kingdom life. The kingdom is, is such that whatever we do, honor God, pleases God, glorifies him. Amen, yes. So when we say may his kingdom come into our life, we're saying that every aspect of God's will for us, we want it. We desire it. And we're longing for it. We're pursuing it. Amen. We are not being distracted. We are not being derailed. Amen. We're, 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 we're not being captured by some need to the point that uh, our attention is being drawn to something else. Our life is built and established and the will of God. Friends, these are all things that we have to build. We come daily. Amen. We receive divine instruction. Yes. Our lips is being touched with the coal of fire. We are being renewed. We are being refreshed. We are being empowered. Amen. We are being, we are, we are being revamped in the spirit. Our eyes, our eyesight, amen, is being calibrated. We are washed. We see things. We know things. Like I always say, when we pray, amen, like this, we grow in the prophetic. 
we grow in the prophetic amen the prophetic becomes real to us the lifestyle of the spirit amen becomes real to us we develop amen an excellent spirit we develop a capacity within our spirit amen that we are able to know things we have amen a, an understanding of the times and the seasons and the seasons like the sons of Issachar, we know these things. We know, amen, how to go forth, how to honor God, how to please God. Amen. We live life in accordance to the will of the Father. We know how to choose our friends. We're not making bad choices because, amen, we are praying and our prayer is giving us information. When we pray, we get, amen, first hand information. When we pray, we get to know things, but we also get to know people. We get to know the heart of God. We get to know the mind of God. We get to know the will of God. We get to know the directions of God. We get to know when the times and the seasons have changed. So we change. We get to know where God says, now it's time to leave this point and place. Move to the next level. Move to the next place. Or even move to another, you know, a, a complete and, you know, new environment. There's nothing like a, a permanent stay. As you walk with God, he gives you direction. He gives you a leading. You move in accordance to the instruction, amen, yes, of his spirit. This is why it's important that our spirit man is alive. That we are not hearing something else. That we are not being distracted. Regardless of what we are doing. You know, sometimes we do things, amen, that, that, that portrays, you know, a sense of permanency. No, we have not, amen, yes, a continuous city. We are seeking for the one to come. So tomorrow God speaks to me. And I'm able to hear with clarity. It's time to leave where you are and move to the next level. All of the things, amen, that will allow that to come into reality, the spirit of the Lord begins to kick them, amen, into manifestation. And then you just walk in obedience. You're not looking at where you are and say, oh, well, I, I cannot leave this place. Oh, but I just bought a car, but I just did that. But, I, oh, oh, oh and, uh, well, uh, my, my children goes to that school. No, but no, no, everything that you do, amen, should be geared via the leading of the spirit. Some of the things that I'm talking about, people are not even thinking about these things. And that's why, amen, they, they, they don't come into the full reality of God's plan for their life. Because they have benchmarked their life. They've allowed the environment. They've allowed their upbringing. They've allowed, amen, their condition. They've allowed their mindset. They've allowed tradition. They've allowed, amen, yes, yeah, status quo to keep them locked in a place. While I am here doing what God will have me to do, my mind, amen, is connected to the will of God. Tomorrow God speaks to me, amen, I respond. We respond based, amen, on the timing and the, and the instructions of God. This is why it's important to hear God. Some of the things that are happening in our life, amen, that looks as if God did I did I hear you? Did I actually hear you before I uh, you know I did this thing? You know why we can question those things? Yeah, because we are not sure. Sometimes when we when God speaks to us, particularly in the place of prayer, what He says to us may sound contra contradictory to Amen. What He said, you know, maybe twenty years ago, or what He even said, Amen, uh, some fifteen, uh, uh, you know, days ago. Remember, it was the one who said to Abraham, take your, your son, your only son, amen, to Mount Moriah there. Yes, go sacrifice him. Did God change his mind? No. God was testing the faith of Abraham. Beyond just testing his faith, Abraham must walk, amen, in the instructions and in the direction of God for his life. If he's all not knowing, if he's, if he's our wisdom, amen, if he's our concept of understanding, then why are we not responding? Why are we not preparing ourselves, amen? Why are we not living in tents? You know what it means to live in tents? Living in tent means that you do not have a permanent, a permanent location. Tent you can easily scaffold. When God says it's time to move, you move. What am I saying? I'm talking about developing a spiritual intuition through, amen, an excellent, amen, prayer life. When you pray via the Spirit, through the Spirit, you develop, amen, the ability to hear, to hear, to hear. 
our ears are meant, amen, for hearing. Not just hearing men. Not just hearing our boss. Not just hearing, amen, our friends, family. Amen. Not just hearing what's going on. Amen. Not just to eavesdrop on, on, on people, but to actually hear your heavenly father. How often do you hear his voice? We're laying the right foundation that will allow us to press further, to journey further to the place of, in, of God's intention for our life. Your prayer life in 2022 should not be at the same spot or place that it was in 2021 or 2020. Your prayer life should be advancing, moving further, going further to the place of heaven's program for your life. We are called to pray, friends. We are called to pray and this prayer must help us develop. Develop the mind of God. Develop the heart of God. Develop the will of God. Develop in the counsels of God. Develop, amen, in the way we interact with life. It's going to get more challenging out there, but it's going to get better within, amen, the environment of the kingdom life. It's going to get more fierce out there, but amen, our faith is going to develop stronger. Yes. We will rule. We will, we, will, we will dominate according to the principle of God. Amen. Yes. We will restore the earth back to heaven's divine redemptive counsel. That's where we, that's where we are. That's what we're doing. Our, 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 our existence in the earth, amen, is to regulate. We are, we are representing the kingdom of God. We are representing, amen, the kingdom of God. We are establishing, amen, the mountain of his house. We are bringing forth a new order of people. Our life must become such an attraction that, amen, people can look at and begin to stream and stream to us where we are. This is what we're praying for, friends. Let us go up to the mountain of the house of God. This should be, amen, what people should be seeking for. Let us go up, yes, to the mountain of the house of the God of Jacob. There he will show us, yes, his ways. There he will reveal his counsel to us. We want to go up to the mountain, amen, to the mountain of the house of the God of Jacob. We want to come up to that mountain, to that lifestyle, to that dimension where we become the chief expression of the counsels of God all around. Beaming the light of God. Amen. Attracting the world to the place of God's will and counsel. Lord, bring us there. Bring us to the place of your mountain. Establish our feet upon, yes, the path of your good pleasure. May my life, our life this morning, yes, become a reflection of your glory. A place that beams the light of truth. Cast down imagination, every high thing, every lofty thing. False mountains, false positions. We cast them down. We bring down the loftiness of men and their high look. Pride will cast you down ungodliness we cast you down yes we come to the heel of the lord we come to the mountain of christ we declare this morning we rise into the place of the fulfillment of god's prophetic intention why are we talking about this thing so that the the, the things that god wants to do in our day amen will find a body a people a body you have prepared for me yes that our life can become that, amen, yes, conduit, that channel that the things of God can walk through, can flow through. That's why we've got to build this order of life, friends. We're building with purpose. We're building with purpose. We are building with purpose. We're saying, Lord, this morning, may your will be done in our life. May your purpose, oh God, be established. May your counsel find fulfillment in us. We proclaim this morning. 
Let this day, oh God, once again be a day where we run hard, yes, to the place of your good pleasure. Take your place. We may we walk in divine obedience. May the spirit, oh God, of your of your counsel find leeway in our lives, oh God. Yes, touch our lips, oh God. Guide our path, oh God. May righteousness continue to lead us. May your truth, oh God, guide us. Bring us to the place where we walk by faith, oh God, and not by sight. Bring us to the place, oh God, where our hope, oh God, in you is intact, not shaken, not, not being moved oh god by anything father we thank you this morning that our feet is planted upon christ our rock thank you this morning that ah we are bearing for the fruit of life the fruit of your spirit that we are shifting away yes from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil we come to the place where indeed we become fruit bearer thank you spirit of god thank you lord this morning that the law yes of the spirit of life in christ jesus sets us free from the law of sin and death that sin does not reign in our mortal body that the flesh do not have dominion over us rather we are awakened this morning to the place of your good pleasure we take our place this morning take your place take your place in our life rule and reign may your kingdom oh god find expression like a river through our life flow to the north to the south to the east to the west lead us guide us bring us oh god to the place of your good pleasure we thank you lord because we know it's not by might we know it's not by power but by your spirit so we declare this morning that we live in the direction in the instruction of your intention for our life hallelujah thank you jesus thank you holy spirit we pray for our nation we pray this morning yes lord that you will rule and reign you will continue yes to establish your will over this nation south africa that your intention for this land yes stands as you continue to steer yes yes father as you continue to steer things yes that will allow your counsel to find leeway and expression we agree with what you're doing oh god in the name of jesus we thank you this morning almighty that everything is gravitating towards the place of yes divine order divine perfection in you and so we thank you that as you continue to shake yes father the foundation of many generations that once again this nation will find our feet oh god yes father on the path of righteousness perfect your will and purposes of god over this land we thank you for what you're doing all across this nation beyond this nation thank you for what you're doing oh god yes over over the continent of africa beyond africa oh god yes father we thank you for what you're doing in europe in in america in asia oh god across the globe we thank you for what you're doing in russia in china we thank you for what you're doing oh god yes father in mongolia we pray oh god that your name be exalted thank you for for your life oh god yes that has been poured out right now in afghanistan in pakistan in india we pray in the name of jesus may your kingdom continue to come may your will find expression thank you lord for awakening a people of light this morning thank you for truth that prevail thank you for yes the works of the enemy that will not stand you will be glorified you will have yourself a glory in the earth a people will praise you the knowledge of your glory will continue to cover the earth even as the water covers the sea we thank you we bless your holy name this is the day of your power this is the day of your intention this is the day of your glory this is the day of your counsel there is nothing that can stop or hinder what you have ordained for this day not nothing no man no evil can stop oh god what you have begun to do arise oh god and let your enemy be scattered enter this day oh god into your rest take your place have your way move lord god like never before thank you lord for what you're doing in ghana in nigeria we thank you for what you're doing in ivory coast uh, thank you for what you're doing in liberia in libya we honor you oh god for your glory oh god that is established right now in central africa thank you for what you are doing thank you for the peace oh god that you are establish establishing right now yes in Uto in utopia in the name of jesus in e eritrea in the name of jesus we honor you oh god for what you're doing across the horn of africa 
your glory, your name is being revealed in Somalia in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Lord, all those forgotten regions of the earth that wars are turning up one and lives are being lost. Oh, Father, we pray peace in the name of Jesus. Truth prevail in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that the powers of darkness will not prevail. This morning, we declare once again, we raise the horn of righteousness. We raise the banner of truth and we proclaim may your kingdom come. Lead us on. Lead us further. Bring us to the place of your good intention. May you, oh God, this morning once again, yes, take glory over the regions of the earth, over, yes, the continents of the earth, over the nations of the earth. Yes, oh God, even in you, eh, may you establish for yourself a people of righteousness that will stand and challenge, oh God, yes, the arms, the loftiness of men, the high looks of men will declare this day they shall come down. You will be, you will take glory as you brought down the high places, oh God, yes, of Nebuchadnezzar, as you brought down the high places of, 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 of Belshazzar, as you brought down the high places of Jezebel. We thank you this morning that our holy people are rising in righteousness and in truth. Prevail, oh God. May your kingdom once again be manifest over the nations. May your name be glorified. May you have yourself, yes, glory this morning. Oh, hallelujah. May you have for yourself glory. May you have for yourself praise. May you have for yourself honor. Let every man be a liar. God be true. Be true this morning. Be true this morning. Be exalted. Be glorified. Be magnified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Your word says one shall put a fall, a flight, but two shall put a flight, 10,000. Thank you, Lord, this morning that I am not alone. Thank you, Lord, this morning that we are not alone. Thank you, Father, for the capacity of multiplication, even in the place of prayer. Thank you for a spirit that is a life awakened this morning. Equip, O oh God, quicken, O oh God, by the revelation of your son, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God, for what is happening all across. We bless your name. Glorify your holy name for what you're doing right now. Heaven and earth will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. But not a stroke, not a jot, yes, of, of your word will go unfulfilled. Let there be a fulfillment of the eternal, yes, purposes, O oh God, that are aligning to see to, to, to manifestation. We thank you. I give you glory this morning. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Omnipotent God, you reign forever. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise, honor. Thank you for what you're doing in the life, oh God, of our followers everywhere they are this morning. I pray for them in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, for all of our followers, all of our followers on the Potter's Gate Network. I pray your will and counsel, your intention and desire be fulfilled in their life. I declare, oh God, this morning, a new, a new position of light, a new position of truth, a new position of grace. Be, be, may your will, oh God, yes, once again be awakened in their life, in their heart, oh God. May your counsel find fulfillment in their life, in their home, in their family. Help them to see, to understand what it means to walk with you. What it means to live for you. What it means to please you in days like this, in times like this. Almighty God, may they take their stand this morning. And may they see indeed that you are for them, not against them. May your will find fulfillment, oh God, in their life. May they open their heart and allow, yes, a freshness of your voice to guide them, to lead them to the place of your good place. Pleasure. I thank you this morning. I honor you and I glorify your holy name. Yes, Father, we rise up in the authority of your name and we declare this morning, Christ is Lord. His name is our is our redeemer. His name, yes, is our yes, buckler, is our shield, is our protector, is our provider. Father, thank you for the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you this morning for truth that is established. Yes, through his name. Thank you for advancement. Thank you, Father, for your body, your church all across this morning being awakened to this new day. Thank you, Lord, that we will not focus on what we see like the children of Israel, and therefore seeking to return back, oh God. We declare that we we will advance. We will continue to advance in our minds, uh, in our thoughts, in our thinking realm, in our thinking faculty. This morning we declare in Jesus' name that we do not focus on the temporal. Rather we focus on the eternal. Our mind is set on you. Our heart is set on you. Our passion this morning, yes, is set on you. Our desire is set on you. 
have yourself glory in your church father i thank you bring new life upon your church oh god release a freshness of your water cleanse oh god may there be an outpouring oh god of your spirit you said in the last day you will pour out yes yourself thank you lord that you're pouring out yourself you're pouring out your spirit and awakening a generation an awakening generation is coming forth oh god i thank you i honor your holy name that we will continue to hallow you you'll be glorified this morning in our lives and through our life you will be exalted you will be magnified in everything that we do thank you lord for great things thank you father for great expectation thank you father for powerful manifestation taking place all across the earth thank you lord that we are able to read the handwriting on the wall we are able to say this is that that has been prophesied yes in the name of jesus that we are not confused we are not perplexed we are not carried away we are not charmed by the lies of the enemy we refuse to be deceived in jesus name we are not seduced oh god thank you lord that our heart oh god will continue to follow that straight and narrow path we will continue to follow that straight and narrow path we will see you in glory lord jesus have your way this morning take your place and be glorified may you be exalted may your name oh god once again fill the earth may the knowledge of your glory fill the earth oh god yes father take your place be exalted we thank you this morning we will not give into the lies of the enemy thank you lord that our mind is renewed our thoughts are renewed our spirit awaken in the name of jesus we bless you honor and glory to you this morning i declare open the eyes of our eyes of, of our open the eyes of, of our heart may we hear may we see may we know things oh god the way you have ordained them may we journey may we walk oh god in the pathway of righteousness i thank you spirit of god honor and glory to your lamb of god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god glory to god hallelujah father we thank you we bless your holy name oh amen and amen well this morning we are done with this morning prayer we believe god for great things amen in your life in your space wherever you are continue amen to live for god continue to press further amen in the knowledge of his will may his counsel find fulfillment in your life may you continue to know that the lord is on your side and whatever you do may you seek first amen his kingdom and his righteousness and then of course every other thing that heaven has ordained and desire for you will become a reality i bless the lord for what god is doing in your life wherever you are wherever you're going to be listening or watching amen this broadcast from i pray that the spirit of god will awaken you that you will refuse amen yes to be pulled down that you will refuse to be dragged down to the physical realm where you know you want to judge by sight no but you will rise up amen and begin to walk by the leading of the spirit by the guidance of the spirit because indeed it's from that point that we win the battle amen yes it's from the point of the spirit that we win the battle a battle we have not won amen in the spirit and through our spirit cannot be manifest cannot be manifest so let's continue amen to honor god with our life let's continue to pray let's continue to seek his face let's continue to advance in the light of truth the lord is doing a new thing in our day continue to build amen a spirit of life a spirit of intuition amen continue to build amen a spirit that can interact with the with the advanced dimension of god's counsel for our day amen a generation must bring in all the fullness of God's intention for their time. Let's be that generation. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.